uh, one time he and my daughter were going together. So, I mean, I got to see him on a totally different side of, of Matt. And, of course, uh, watching the brothers work together, he and Pat, was, uh, was fascinating to me as, as well. I got to admit, when I look back at some of my favorite episodes, it was a lot of them were the silly, fun, crazy episodes that we got to laugh and it wasn't just so emotional and really gut-wrenching. There was an episode called The Lake Kesia Monster that was another fun, crazy episode where they were trying to steal the land from an old woman. There's nothing much we can do about it, love. Maybe there is, Kesia. Maybe we can scare them off the property. Laura and I come up with this crazy costume uh, that makes them believe that the lake's inhabited by a monster, by a you know, huge, fire-breathing sea monster. another episode called The Werewolf of Walnut Grove, where it was a school bully and Laura, in, in order to, to teach the kid a lesson and, and scare him into not being a bully and, and picking on some of the kids, Laura paints me up as a werewolf. Let me see. I pretend that it's the secret of the Ingalls family and, and I lift this huge paper mache rock and makes me look like an incredibly strong. Paper rock you made. <laughs> werewolf of Walnut Grove was really, uh, I was a teenage werewolf, Michael poking fun at himself, which, you know, he did so often on the show. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> yeah, but you might as well turn your light out. You're not going to get any work done staring off into space like that. There were so many episodes that were just so tender and, and honest and sincere. And there was an episode called Dearest Albert where uh, Albert has a pen pal with a girl and he sort of fantasizes, he makes himself to be a little taller and a little more athletic and he sort of creates this perfect image that he writes down to this, to this girl of who he wants her to think he is. And all the while, she's doing the same thing with Albert. I, too, am very tall and very athletic. I captain the basketball team at our school. This won't take but a minute. I remember the moment that the scene where we, we finally met, and it was this huge secret that she's been keeping, and it was just so heartbreaking, this little girl. Paul. Paul, that's her. That's Leslie. And it was just such a tender, heartbreaking scene where she finally, I finally realized that she, I'm not who I said I was and she's right not now. who she said she was. And we finally just accept each other on who we are without any pretense and all the, the, the stuff that we've been making no, up. It's all right. Taught me a good lesson. From now on, I'm going to be honest about myself. So many of the episodes that Michael wrote were about my character, about uh, the character of Albert. And some of them, uh, I, I remember, uh, maybe we make them proud, where the blind school burns down and Mary's baby dies and, and Alice Garvey dies. <laughs> because there's a grain of truth in what she's thinking. Uh, Fagan, where Albert runs away um, no. because he doesn't feel that he's part of the family, feels misplaced. And... There was another episode where my real father who abandoned me comes back and as a way of, he uh, basically just wants to use me as a farm hand. He just needs someone to help on the farm. And I pretended I was blind so he would see me as this useless kid that couldn't couldn't help him, so he dumps me yet again. I got nothing to offer you, boy. 
You stay with the Ingalls. And then there's the Ingalls family welcoming me back with open arms into their home, and I was officially adopted and became, uh, became his son on the show. Uh, Sylvia, the episode where uh, the young local girl is raped by one of the townsmen, and uh, she's um, Albert's girlfriend, and everyone thinks that perhaps it was Albert that raped her. No. 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 I never. Talk about a heavy show, but it, it just such a so well done and so handled so it's such a sensitive touchy subject that was handled so well he's not lying Doug I was doing another television series uh, during the final year of Little House uh, so I my character came back for, for one episode uh, with the morphine addiction don't you lie to me Albert lie to you about what about the morphine and then the second episode that I came back for was when Albert, uh, uh, it turned out that Albert has leukemia and he never officially died in the Albert. episode and I think maybe it's kind of left up in the air to debate, but uh, uh, for the most part he died at the end. You didn't see him dying, but it was sort of an unspoken thing that we knew he was going to die. I think it's a really interesting and, and just a really wonderful thing that people don't relate to me as, as that I was on a show, they relate to me as that I was a childhood friend. <sighs> Seems to me you've been doing a lot of dreaming lately. Everybody wished that their father was like Pa, like Michael Landon, or they wished that their sister was like Laura, or they wished that their brother was like Albert. And I, I don't think I've met anyone that, if they were fans of the show or even watched the show, that it wasn't just a, a profoundly positive memory and experience for them during their childhood. When I think back on how the show ended, at the time I was doing another television series, it was difficult just as an actor uh, having to compete with, with Little House on the Prairie. Uh, how, how are you ever going to do that? And, you know, after Little House was all done, uh, just about every show that I worked on from that point forward, I mean, how can you help but compare it to, to Little House and how Little House ran and how much fun it was and how much of a joy it was to go to work and how wonderful Michael Landon was to work with. No other show was ever going to be Little House on the Prairie again.